So I've started uh, doing a little series of, of asking, well, asking uh, some of the group to give me questions for the emissaries because I find that when I come with a question to the emissaries, the answers are, are lovely rather than just like random chat, you know, is everything all right? So I like to have questions. So the group that I'm in, and if you want to join the group, it's a Telegram group. Okay, you've got to be a nice person to join it, but come and join us and you can also ask questions. Um, in the group, they're starting to give me some questions. So I'm going to deal with a question that came from Jamie. Hello, Jamie. Jamie's a beautiful lady, a beautiful lady who's in the group. And Jamie's asking the question, how do we know what to pay heed to? Of when we look at all of the channeling that's going on around around the world, there are channelers everywhere, and lots of the messages are contradictory, that they're not the same. How do we know? What do we trust? Do we trust any? Do we trust none? Do we trust all? Great question. And so I asked the emissaries, and I'll tell you the answer on the other side. So this was what the emissaries said, and, it, and it, I've been laughing about this for a good while now, since I asked. First of all, I said to them, why do we have all of these contradictory messages from channelers? Okay, you know, they're telling us some really different things. And they said, it's very complicated. Okay, and this is what I, this is what I was given, and I thought, Man, I don't even know what that was. They said, they said, it has to do with the fluctuations in the space-time continuum. That's what they said to me. And I, and, and I dismissed it because I thought, they, they don't even talk like that. But it was like, they, they said, it has to do with the fact that there are so many beings that are helping. And there are so many beings on so many different levels who have... Um, connection to information but also in different dimensions and and so we're getting messages from so many different dimensions that many of them are different okay however their advice was that we have to go with the ones that resonate with us because we so I'm finding from my regressions we are all from very different dimensions too. We aren't all from the same place anymore. There are so many beings here on Earth that are from different places. And so for, for us, what we have to go with is what resonates with us because our truth is not necessarily the truth of, of the next person, okay? So that's kind of what they said. But they also finished with this, and I think this is the most important part of this message about who do we trust. I said to them, but have we been infiltrated? And they said, oh, of course we have. The, the, the bodies have infiltrated every single aspect of life. And so, of course, there are people who were, who were channeling awful things. There are people who were channeling baddies. And there are people who were pretending to channel to give bad messages. Okay? It's what, of course, that, you know, just as there are baddies everywhere, you know, in the same, in our, in our truth movement, there are going to be people who are there to cause us problems. And they said, look, this is the way that you use your discernment. They said, when, when you are getting a message that is alleviating your fear, and making you get a sense of relief, like, oh, all right, so it's gonna be all right, okay? This relief from a fear-based place, that message is not a message that's coming from, from a, a good vibration. What I mean by that, let me see if I can explain it a little bit more because I, I've been thinking about the best way to explain this. When somebody is telling you that you're going to be saved and that it's all okay and that you don't need to worry about it and you don't need to do anything, it's all in hand. It's out of your hands. 
that's very important. When there's a saviour coming, that's not the vibration that we want to be in. Okay? Now, it's not that that's not true. Okay? That there, there is a big plan and everything's okay. However, what the emissaries were saying was this. The messages that we get that empower us, that work to make us better people, to make us stronger spiritually, to make us achieve more, to, to help us to create more in our lives. They are the messages that we really need to pay attention to. So can you see the difference? One is, I'm a victim and don't worry, it's going to be all right. Or, I'm a victor and I am going to do what I do to help this to, to change. I'm going to take action. Yeah? So that's the difference between the two. Now, what they said to me was that there are lots of different messages for lots of different vibrational frequencies. That means that there, and this happens to me now, there are messages that I do not want to listen to anymore. I've heard them. But those messages are absolutely vital for some people. And it all depends on the vibrational frequency that you are at. As we move up our vibrational frequency, we need to hear messages that are on that level or slightly above. Slightly above. Right? Because we always want to be pushing up our frequency. And so we don't want to hear low level vibration messages because that's not our bag anymore. That's going to bring us down. However, the people who are in really, really bad places, that's what they need to hear. That's their frequency. They need to hear those messages and then they need to move on. And so we, we've seen this pattern. We, we hear something. I mean, we, you know, we used to look, look at all kinds of awful stuff and now we're moving we're moving away from that, okay? Also, avoid listening to messages that are way, way, way above your frequency. I Sometimes I listen to things and I thought, I think, I haven't got a fucking clue what you're talking about. I have no idea using words I don't understand. Right, it's, it's, a, it's a higher frequency message. It's not right for you. We've got a band of frequency and we need to... We need to listen and, and share messages that are within our band of frequency. That's the one that resonates with us. So we just use our gut and we say, hey, does, it, does this, is this make me want to be a better person? Yes, I'm listening to it. No, I'm turning it off. It doesn't mean that it's bad, right? There are some bad. It doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it's not right for us. It's not our frequency. That's not in our band. Okay, so we find our band of frequency, we listen to that, and always try and just move yourself up a little bit, yeah, without blowing your mind, you know, and, and I mean, just some of the some of the information, just so like what? <laughs> there's a lady, there's a lady who who um, love a uh, lady who who's linked to some alien creatures, and she draws loads of diagrams, and I'm watching, I'm thinking, I just I, I'm just not feeling it. I, I, I can't I can't go there. Clearly, it's not my band. It's not my frequency. Okay, doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with the message. Loads of people love it. That's their frequency. All right. So that's all. Listen to the people who empower you. Avoid the people who are disempowering you, who are making you feel like a victim. And that it's all going to be all right when they come. No, that's not the. That's not what we need. We need. What do we need to do to make ourselves better? Because we are the ones that are bringing about change we are the ones okay all right there you are lovely thank you jamie for that beautiful question i'll see you later i love you all